In this video we're going to have a look at differentiation from first principles, in particular an exam style question that asks us to differentiate x cubed plus 2x from first principles with respect to x. Now here we'll have the formula for differentiation from first principles, which is given in the formula booklet or at the front of each paper depending on what your exam board is. So let's have a look at it. So first of all, subbing x plus h into this formula we get the limit as h approaches 0 of, and subbing x plus h into this term here, we get in brackets x plus h cubed plus, and then subbing x plus h into this, we get two lots of x plus h. Then we're taking away The expression with just x subbed in so take away all of x cubed plus 2x close bracket and then the denominator is just h okay so that line if we do a bit of simplification is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of and expanding x plus h cubed, you can use the binomial expansion, or you can just do triple brackets. Here, at the side, I'm going to do some triple brackets. So x plus h, x plus h, x plus h. So taking the first pair of brackets, I get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared times x plus h which is equal to x squared, sorry, x cubed, which is equal to x cubed plus x squared h plus 2x squared h plus 2x h squared plus h squared x plus h cubed, which is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed. So now using this somewhat simplified expression back in our formula, instead of x plus h cubed, we can write the simplified version, which is x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed, so that's the x plus h cubed done. So now on the next one, the 2x plus h, well multiplying out that bracket, we get plus 2x plus 2h, then take x cubed, take 2x, all over h. And looking for the things that cancel out now. So we've got a plus x cubed here and a take x cubed there. We've got a plus 2x there and a take 2x there. And now what it's telling us to do, if we look at this denominator here, it's telling us to divide what's left by h. So that's equal to uh, 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared plus 2. And what I've done here, I've made the classic mistake of not putting in the limit signs. So I move that along a bit and I must make sure to get the marks of writing the limit as h approaches 0 of that expression. So as h approaches 0, we can see that this term here has an h in it. So as h approaches 0, this term will disappear. Likewise, as h approaches 0, this term will also disappear. So therefore, we can conclude that this is equal to 3x squared plus 2. And we can verify that that's the answer because if we differentiate this here, 3x uh, cubed plus 2x, we get 3x squared plus 2. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.